Yes. The time of the occurrence of some event, something happens there. In Galatians 4, 4, it says, when the fullness of time had come, yes. a time designated by God, right. a time Jesus came at a time designated by God. Yes. We all were born at a time designated by God. Right. Our days are numbered, our very hair of our head are numbered. God knows the very moment I'm supposed to leave this earth. Oh, yes, he yes. knew the very moment. Matter of fact, he said, before I formed you in your mother's womb, what he told you, uh, I knew you. Yeah. I knew what I wanted you to do before your mom and your daddy got together. Yeah. You were a mind. Way back from the foundation of the world. And it's time for the church to rise up now and understand these times are in God's hand. Yes. 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 And Jesus could not come mm -hmm. until the events before him had time to fulfill. Yes. That's real. He couldn't come oh, man. until some things were set before he got here. Yes. God planned his birth at a set time. And when those times was full, he came. The Roman government had to be in position. You know why? Because God chose the Roman government, which was one of the most barbaric governments in one right. at that time, to send Jesus through that to pay for our sin. The government had to be in place. The emperor had to be in place. The Pharisees had to be in place. Everything had to be right. You just didn't have a birthday. You came at a certain time, at a set time, the by God. And you were put on this earth to carry out God's will and God's promise. Some do, but some drift off in the other environments and the other things. God brought you here for Him. God brought you here for Him. And that is the time that He gave you. You got a certain amount of years and a certain amount of time. To do God's will. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The Bible warns us about the time we're living in. Uh -huh. Warns us about it. Yes. Now you're only going to hear this from the Bible. Yes. Amen. You'll never hear this on CNN. No, no. Ah. So, Fox News will never tell you this. You need to hear a man of God to get this. Yeah. Yeah. The time we're living in and the time that are coming. This is what the Holy Spirit said. Yeah. Through the Apostle Paul. Times are coming when men will have affections for things more than God. Yes. Men will be lovers of pleasure what now? Yes. More than lovers of God. Yes. They will have a form of godliness. Ooh, we know what that is. Externally caring. <laughs> they will look like Christians on the outside. They will look like Christians in the church. They will talk like Christians on the outside. That is a form of God. They will seek out teachers with information to tickle their ears. This is what the Holy Spirit says. That is, they desire to hear something that's pleasant. They desire to hear something. People use the term now. It, it, it needs to be motivational. It, it needs to be something positive. It needs to be something we like or something like that. Well, spoke to me about you. He said in the latter days that's going to happen. They will have itching ears and they will only look for people who are going to speak what they like to hear. Yes. Now the church will never rise above her view of God. See we wonder what happened to the church. She lost her view of God. Oh. The church will never rise above her view of God and her love and obedience to God. You'll never go beyond that. You'll never rise above that. You're only, what, what, what I would say, you're limiting yourself yes. by your love and devotion to God. My God. Oh. Mm. 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 My God. But the world, the way it is today, it will get progressively worse. <clears throat> Not too long ago, people were saying, well, we, we can't wait to get back to normal. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. You call that normal? My God. <laughs> and everybody wanted to go back to where God was bringing them from, just like the children of Israel. Yes. They wanted to go back. Yes. 
because they didn't know the future God had for them. He was taking them from flesh pots to land flowing with milk and honey. But they were so used to the flesh pots, they were so used to being mistreated by Pharaoh. Tell them how that was not. Church, listen to me. You think what we come from is normal? Do you know God always takes us to something better? Why are you looking at that? That's not normal. You don't want that no more. God is moving us from that. My God. Jesus said, these evil days will come. Many will be deceived and be deceived. Yes. yes, Lord. Many will fall away and betray one another mm -hmm. and hate one another. My Lord. This is Jesus speaking. Yes, sir. Many false prophets will arise uh -huh. and will mislead many. Yes, they will. Because lawlessness is increased, most people love will grow cold. Yes. With all of this unfolding in the world today, Right before our very eyes, we see it day by day. We yes, see it on yes, the television. We experience it even among ourselves. Yes, we need someone to make sure the body of Christ stays on the right course. Amen. I mean, if people are going to make mistakes, but you come here, you're the man of God, you're the preacher week after week after week, you should be different. Yes, even talk like they talk. Amen. Because they don't have what you have. Thank this, you, this, 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 this body of Christ. Yes, sir. The church should help the church stay on course. Thank you, Lord. What are you talking about? The, the, the course I'm re referring to is the course that keeps us from having an eclipse of God. Mm. You know the eclipse of God is the eclipse. It really, when the moon comes between the sun and the earth, yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. when the moon comes between the sun and the earth, we have an eclipse. The Greek word for eclipse is an abandoning, mm. to leave out, dark and obscure, to make seem less brilliant. The main task facing the messengers of God today, my dear friend, yes, is to make sure we don't have an eclipse of God, to keep the lights on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep the lights on in the people of God. Yes. To make sure they're seeing what God wants them to see, yes, not what the world is showing them. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, we must not abandon God for the sake of just trying to attract people Amen. or to change things in the church. Amen. Every type of event indeed has a set of circumstances. We've just talked about that in 3.1. The set of circumstances. These things that happen in the world today is creating a lot of circumstances. Yes, sir. People are having some bad circumstances. People are going through some difficult time because of the events that's God yes, stirring stuff up. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Mm. Genesis chapter 19 and verse 15 and 16. Woo. This is something I want you to see very plainly. When the angel came and told Lot to get out of Sodom. Genesis chapter 19. Read, read this with me. And when the angels came and told Lot to get out of Sodom in verse 15 and 16, when morning dawned, the angels urged Lot, saying, I'll take your wife and your two daughters who are here, or you will be swept away in the punishment of the city. When God said, Move, it's time to do what? Move. It's time to move. Listen at verse 19. But verse 16 said, But he hesitated. God say move. Yes, sir. God, God, angels from heaven say get up. Get your children and your family get up. But he hesitated. God is speaking to us in the midst of all of this. Telling us what to do. And we try to think if God making a mistake here. But not hesitating. You know why he hesitated? He didn't think it was the right time to leave. You see how humans can think when God speaks about 
moving. Get out now. Elijah, get your children, your daughter, your wife. Get out of the city. And he hesitated. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank